Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today I've got another exciting toy unboxing for you guys. That's right, another box showed up at my door and, well, I wanted to open it with you guys. So let's go check out that box. All right, folks, we got us a box of Kenner Star Wars toys. That's right. You know that's the only thing I ever show you guys. It's all you'll ever see is Kenner Star Wars toys. Cause that's all I collect. I'm not hating on modern. They make a lot of good stuff nowadays. Um, but it's just there's no nostalgic love there for me. And they just keep making more. I mean how many versions of Luke Skywalker do you possibly need? Um, so yeah. I'm Just call me OG. I should call myself the OG Jedi instead of the GQ Jedi. Because I'm all about the... The classic, the OG vintage stuff. Kenner is my first love. All right, let's dig into this box a little bit. Got enough, enough uh, plastic in here to keep everything nice and comfy. Oh yeah! Check out this big old bag of action figures. Yeah! Love it, love it, love it, love it. Nothing better, in my opinion, than getting a bag or a Vader case. Or a vinyl case full of action figures. You want to put a smile on my face? Give me a loot. A lot of action figures. I'll take them. I'll take all of them. Can't get enough of them. I already have them all, but I still want more. That's the kind of nutbag I am about Kenner. Um, you know, always upgrading. Constantly, uh, you know, making adjustments in the collection. That's half the fun. Look at this bag of plastic crack, as I like to call it. The weapons. These things have seen many a backyard, got lost in carpets, went up vacuum cleaners. That's the gold right there, the weapons. All right, we got a Bespin Han, a nice Boba Fett. Can't get, heck, you can never have too many Boba Fetts, in my opinion. General Maydeen, not so much a well loved character, but he is a rebel. Got a nice Bespin Luke. And of course, the man himself, Lando Calrissian, with that flashy smile and cape. Han in a trench coat with uh, no camo on the lapel, so that's a nice variant. Um, we have a Jedi Luke, decent cloak. Have another Jedi Luke, kind of naked, but hey, we can figure it out. We can make, make something happen with him. Gamorrean Guard, some of Jabin's minions, a uh, Rees. Rees, what a name. Biker Scout, yes, this is my boy right here. Ew. Love the Biker Scout. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know I love the Biker Scout. It's one of my favorite figures of all time. Such an amazing design. Got a Bespin Luke with uh, maple hair um, and a Dagobah backpack, so that's a nice, sweet little addition. You got a Hoth Commander. The guy from Cheers played him in the Empire Strikes Back. Um, bounty hunters, at least one of them's a bounty hunter. The imposter Leia, Bausch. Love the removable helmet. Dang, she's good looking. She's a good looking figure. This one. Love the removable helmets on the uh, action figures. All right, Men Kenobi with a full lightsaber. And a Bespin Leia rocking her vinyl cape. Just did a review on all the vinyl capes. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys. Nice Hoth Han here as well. You have a, another Bespin, or Bespin, Jesus. I got Bespin on the brain, guys. Bespin Leia. I meant to say Obi-Wan, but a Bespin Leia and another Ben Kenobi, which is very cool. Um, we have Klaatu, also known as Woof. And then we have Dengar, probably the ugliest figure in the lot, you know, the Hoth Trooper. All right, who's next here? Who's next? All right, we have a Hoth Han, looking pretty good, pretty good. We have a Rebel Commando. And a Bespin Luke and a Death Squad Commander, as well as a complete Yoda. Complete is yes. Mm. 
So that's awesome. Love Yoda. Who doesn't though, honestly? And a fat head Han. Fat head Han. And a skinny Han. Cool that we can get two versions of Han. And IG-88. All right. Up next we have the Imperial Commander. As well as a Death Squad Commander and a Lando and Skiff Guard. And another General Maydeen. Or as I like to call him, General Peg Warmer. And we have a nice looking Bib Fortuna. Love the soft goods on him. And a snow trooper with no skirt, unfortunately. Another uh, Luke Skywalker. Looking pretty decent. Pretty decent there. What up? Oh, ben Kenobi. Seems to be the uh, the man of the hour, Ben Kenobi. Full full setup. Princess Leia, looking mighty fine in her white gown slash vinyl cape. Truly one of the best figures of the first twelve line, in my opinion. Tessic the Squidhead, Squidhead, Squid Face, Lobster Boy, whatever you want to call him. Um, let's see here. Lobster Boy doesn't really work for him, though. Um, we got another Luke Skywalker here. Farm Boy. Looking good. Nice and white. That's how I like my Luke Skywalkers. If they're a Farm Boy. Um, let's see here. Another Imperial Officer. Very nice. Very nice. A Hoth Leia with uh, some gnarly paint rubs on her head, which is a bummer. And we also have... I feel like this bag's not ending, which is nice. Uh, we got another Hoth Leia with the red hair variant. There are different spray, hairspray ops for these uh, Leias. Um, and another Luke Skywalker. A little bit of a yellowing on his tunic. It's no big deal. And what's next here? Lobot. This figure is pretty sweet. You definitely need him in your Cloud City setup. All right, let's take one more peeky, one more peek at this bag of weapons. This plastic crack, man. I just, mm, a lot of complete figures that we can make with this bag here. This is awesome. All right, let's see what else is in this box. All right, let's start with this bag right here. Check out this bag of card backs, guys. Love the card backs. These are awesome. Such a collectible little item. Um, brings back a lot of memories looking at these card backs. Look how glossy this are. Look at this. The Anakin Skywalker sticker offer. That's pretty rad. That is pretty rad. You guys remember the Anakin Skywalker offer? The mail away? It's pretty cool of Kenner. Ah, uh, look at this. Power of the Force, ATST driver. We have uh, Lumat with another Anakin offer. Look at this gorgeous B-Wing card back. B-Wing pilot, just, just beautiful. Look at that sticker. 268. I wish I could buy a figure for $2.68. Got a Wicket card back, looking pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Have a Chief chirpa gotta love chief chirpa running shop with low gray at bright tree village it's amazing they didn't just make the ewoks as like a a group of figures like an action pack of like you know five ewoks just all slammed together in a box then we got tebow tebow's pretty cool and the princess in endor gear such a great figure movable poncho Removable helmet. Her belt comes off. That's an awesome figure. Have a Rebel Commando. What a beautiful card. Just a beautiful card, this one. Jesus. With the blacked out Ewoks on the back. You got Prune Face. Barely seen in the movie, but he got a figure. Uh, General Peg Warmer. I mean, Maydeen. Um, yep, there he is. One of Jabba's goons, Nikto. 
Jabba got a lot of goons in the Return of the Jedi line of figures. Now we have a Klaatu with an Emperor's Offer mail away. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. A Weequay. Unpunched. Unpunched. Look at that. That's awesome. Blacked out Ewoks. Yeah. Memories here, guys. Another ATST driver. Sticker still on it. And yeah, Biker Scout card back. That's what's up for me, man. That is awesome. Love the Biker Scout. Rees. Beat up Gamorrean card back. Seen better days. And a Bosk Empire Strikes Back card back. Pretty, pretty rad. Really get the feels holding these card backs, man. Oh, the memories. Good old memories. That's what Kenner's all about for me. Memories, nostalgia, the good times, the good feelings. And last but certainly not least, this beast of a thing. The Imperial Troop Transporter. Look at this gorgeous toy. This thing is awesome. It's in great, it's great shape. Just beautiful. Got the cannons. Um, everything looks nice on this one. Very, very happy. Um, yeah, this is this is gonna go nice in the display. Very stoked about this this one. You guys remember this transporter? So awesome. Very cool that they brought it back in the Mandalorian. And what do you know? The radar is in the back compartment. So that's very cool to find. It's gonna go great on top there. This is a sweet vehicle. I mean, the Imperials rode in style back in the day, didn't they? This thing is just an awesome toy. Um, does make sounds. I gotta pop some batteries in this beast and see, see if she fires up properly. But what an awesome piece. Very jazzed to get her. This is a great lot of, uh, as we always say, it's a great haul. Um, lot of figures. Um, you know, card backs, the transporter. Let's see here. Just look at that. I was just like, that's what a mail call should look like. Granted, there's 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 nicer mail calls than this. You know, carded figures would be better. But hey, man, I'll take loose figures all day, every day, and even cantina pieces. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty uh pretty pumped up about this haul. Wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I just love getting love getting Kenner Star Wars toys, man. This is this is a great day. This is a great day. Had to share it with you all. Um, not sure what's next, but this is gonna keep me busy for a while. I mean, I got a Biker Scout, another edition, transporter. Jesus, I'm so stoked, so stoked. Today was a very good day. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. And if you guys like this video, give that like button a thumbs up because it does help out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.